today is 26 April early bright early morning 7:25 and one of the questions that the committee member asked he was going at the angle of should we invest in the read manager or the read <laughs> gave me a lateral thought and I decided that I wanted to record what you are seeing here right now. Uh, this business model canvas um, has was introduced to, to me by one of my XT members and the reason of using this uh, canvas is to allow us to have a framework of what of spotting what are the information that I know what are the information that I do not know when I started off investing you know because basically you see that uh, I will always uh, remind the community members to focus on the first two R's the business model and the management but then it is it, if, you, if you just start out investing it seems very fuzzy like okay what am I supposed to look out for right this business model canvas its intention is to help you crystallize uh, things that you know and you don't know and you start filling in the each squares okay. I'm just gonna do a very brief one because I have this model in, in my in my mind whenever I look at my own read really right so you definitely know that the value proposition of read is to uh, rent out physical properties right then it needs to have customer relationships. So the customer relationships can mean how do they even find existing tenants? Then how do they reach out to existing tenants? Are there this kind of agents that they have to sell? So whenever I walk past the Raffles uh, Place MRT station, sometimes I do see uh, some advertisements saying, oh, if you need some space here, or if not, there's those kind of like uh, brochures that uh, would list out where are the open spaces in a, in a commercial building so likewise if you're looking for any uh, looking at any other reads right one of the ways to find find out this information would be to email the IR investor relations or if not uh, during the AGM right you need to ask these questions and how do they find out the customer segments customer segments will be those people who uh, rent their prop uh, rent the physical spaces okay then for the key activities here, right, what do they need to do in order to make sure that uh, this read is able to provide the value proposition? One, maybe property maintenance, right? Do they need any key risk? Oh, and also refinancing of debt, right? Because you know that uh, REITs depend heavily on debt. Yep. Thus, your key resources will be some partners, you know, maybe physical assets, uh, plus also uh, financing then you have other key partners you start filling it in to know that you need banks you need property man people can do property maintenance right and all of these things one two three four five six seven so seven of these items at the top will always have to be balanced fully by the cost structure and the revenue structure in order for the whole business to be floating successfully you need to have a cost structure and a revenue structure of course uh, if you go in deeper of course you need to ensure that there is a cash flow so you need to understand what well, probably the cost structure at uh, of a REIT first your finance cost right the REIT needs to work with other suppliers so there's also this thing called trade payables okay then how does it earn how does it earn its revenue right when you earn this revenue, uh, supposedly there's supposed to be cash flow, right? Okay, so the cash flow component is not shown here. But the key intention of this business model canvas, right, is to allow you who's starting out first or, or perhaps at any stage of investing, you're looking at certain businesses. E even for example, if you have a tenant who's renting a place from the REIT, right? You also can put the tenant at the value proposition because in the end the tenant needs to pay the read the money right so likewise for more read right now the value proposition is they're supposed to have more spaces ma 
uh, because right now the customers cannot even come to the mall but uh, the rich going to face a revenue uh, shortage right and there's always going to be ongoing costs unless the REIT uh, receives some uh, rebates that you don't have to pay anything but if you look at uh, a more REIT it still has its trade payables it still has its finance costs if the key partners is able to say wave off that for like three months right then yes of course it gives a relief this business model canvas uh, please use it frequently enough to identify like hey what are the certain areas that uh, you have information and what areas that you don't have information and you need to do research work uh, this is a very very brief uh, sharing on how I use this business model canvas to uh, do it but just to let you guys see that uh, if you see here right uh, it says uh, cost different this is where you download the business model canvas so happens that I was clearing my mail I was looking at this thing cost differentiators research dodge resource dodges harness the power of idle assets it was written in September 2019 so you was, let's look at this particular thing that would change right now right okay so what it's doing is that it's showing the difference between traditional business models and new models so you see that all in yellow is all appearing at the left side whereas the new sharing economy business model right <laughs> This is how they do it. Uh, I'm just gonna put the link at the uh, at the video description so that you can read it. At least you have an idea of seeing that maybe if you don't invest in REITs, right? How do you use this business model canvas to help you? It is kind of straightforward. There is no uh no second guessing of the meanings of each item. That's basically what I wanted to share. I really have to thank Benjamin for uh giving me this uh idea to transform it to a video. And I also need to give credits to the ex team member who gave me this thing, uh, because when I first learned of this business model canvas, uh, the classic example was the Nespresso, where you put the capsule pot, you put into the coffee machine, and you can start uh, producing coffee. So today is twenty six April seven thirty three a.m. Very early morning, COVID nineteen situation. Uh, kindly stay at home, rest well, and continue to binge watch on my videos. If you find that uh, you like to support my work, there's more things at the at the bottom. Yes, as always, once you have done your work, meaning that you have filled in all the boxes, right? You can always take a picture and you thank me, and we are always looking forward to upgrade our knowledge together. So thank you for watching this video. Nobody perfect, who am I? I'm a good person, open fire, black, black to the bullshit. Daddy working on me, hey, daddy working.